Bara P CEO wrote to employees that governance review and audit is underway to resolve internal complaints. Bengaluru New Delhi, Bara PS Chief Executive Suhail Samir told employees that findings of an ongoing governance review of the Delhi-based firm will be shared with the board in a couple of weeks while assuring them that the fintech firm has sufficient funds to tide over the crisis, in a letter on Friday morning reviewed by ET. He also said that the company is under constant scrutiny and spotlight and what is being written is nothing but unsubstantiated rumors in an attempt to assuage widespread concerns amongst the company's staff. Samir's outreach to colleagues comes amid mounting tension between co-founder Ashneer Grover and the company's board. ET had reported on February 4 that Grover had written to Bharat PS board demanding Samir's ouster from the company's board of directors indicating the growing chasm between the top management of the fintech company and its embattled co-founder. Let me talk about the elephant in the room first, governance review being carried out by well-known and reputed external firm. Based on some internal complaints, we decided to do a full audit of our governance processes. While many of the findings of the review are pretty standard for a fast growth company of our size, there are a couple of more serious allegations, which the review is still substantiating, Samir wrote in the internal memo. Nothing which can't be corrected going forward, and none of it has any bearing on the medium to long-term health of the business. We expect the review partners to share an interim report with the board in a couple of weeks, reassured Samir to employees. Discover the stories of your interest, blockchain 5 stories, cyber safety 7 stories, fintech 9 stories. Ecom 9, Stories Mill 8 Stories EdTech 6 Stories Samir also called for employee trust, as the corporate battle between Bharat PS Board and co-founder Grover has left employees with a sense of uncertainty on the future prospects of the company. I would definitely share a summary of findings with you. Meanwhile, I would just request all of you to keep your trust on the board of Barrel PE, which comprises some of the best investors in the world and veterans of the Indian banking industry. Whatever the board will decide will be beyond doubt in the best interests of our employees, our merchants, and our consumers, he wrote. Also read, The New Rage in Startup Town, Calming Fears. ET had reported on January 16 about the toxic work culture, which continued to plague Bharat PE employees. In his internal memo, on Friday, Samir added that the company continued to process an annualized payment value of $16 billion in December. He also added that Bharat PS by now pay later product, post P, launched last year, also hit annualized TPV of 500 rupees crore. In terms of fuel, we have huge amounts of cash in the bank to keep building from here. We have $500 million in the bank. To put this in context, we have only spent $130 million to build what we have built so far at Bharat PE. In a nutshell, we have 4x the money in the bank than what we have spent so far to build Bharat PE in the last three years, said Samir about the financial health of the company. Samir also added that Bharat PE continues to get inbound conversation requests from new investors, despite the incidents that have unfolded. All our existing investors continue to back us. And while the press may say as it sees fit, we are still getting two to three new inbound conversation requests every week from funds looking to invest in us. While we don't need to raise capital for a foreseeable future, it is great to know that both existing investors as well as potential new ones are keen to further support us if we need the capital, added Samir. Investigation heats up. ET first reported on February 11 that Bharat PS head of controls, Mother Jane, had written to independent consultant Alvarez and Marcel questioning the internal probe at Bharat PE and inquiring about the recent media leak. Bharat PES board members, including Samir, were marked on the memo. Jain's letter to AM also said that she was considering legal action against the firm and has demanded an internal investigation on how the contents of the probe undertaken by AM were allegedly leaked. Further, Jane said that the fact that the findings of the report were leaked to the media makes her firmly believe that the inquiry was aimed to solely tarnish her reputation. Late last month, Bara PS Board had brought an independent consultant AM to conduct a probe into the internal governance practices at the fintech firm. AM's initial investigation showed that Jane and other family members were allegedly involved in financial irregularities at Bara PE, ET reported on February 4. The preliminary findings by AM, dated January 24, showed that Bara PE pays fees to a number of consultants for employees recruited through them. Jane, however, was allegedly in receipt of certain irregular invoices herself, where these employees accepted being hired but refuted the consultant names on the invoices. The invoices were also allegedly being created by Shatank Jane, Jain's brother, the report added.